61 News at 10 is next. Tiny Stony Creek has long attracted summer tourists. Now it's caught the eye of Hollywood. I'm Lori Paris. I'll have that story coming up on the Fox 61 News at 10. Parents may be part of the problem when it comes to teen drinking. A state senator is taking the WWF to the mat over some of its moves. Will the outbreak of foot and mouth disease abroad translate into higher prices here? And an Amtrak train comes off the tracks. The Fox 61 News at 10 begins right now. Good evening. Carol Lee has the night off. First on Fox tonight. Movie madness bringing big business and big money to Connecticut's economy. You might say the state is becoming Hollywood East. For the past month, the Middletown Press has been following the story of a local man, Michael Eck from Durham. He's making an independent movie in town this summer called Moment of Truth. Then there was news this week that Adam Sandler is coming to New Milford for his latest project. It stars Winona Ryder and starts production in the summer. And then today, an announcement that another crew will focus on Branford's Stony Creek for a romantic comedy called Widow's Row. Fox 61's Lori Perez tells us Stony Creek is a one-road village that producers hope leads them all the way to silver screen success. Around a gentle bend along the rocky Connecticut coastline, one happens upon tiny Stony Creek. It is the quintessential New England village with charming scenes and equally charming townspeople. There's the former city ad exec turned shopkeeper, the reverend, a one-time trucker, and the first selectman, local boy done good. Look and sound like a movie? Screenwriter Jim O'Connell thought so, too. Once we found it, we realized that there was, it was kind of a story waiting to be told. We come here today to announce our intention of producing the film with us. Real, real a story the Vernon writer announced to locals today. He now has $10 million to to tell. To find this town and these great characters that live here, I realize that, that you know, to incorporate maybe kind of a, a romantic comedy here and the true story of pirates that actually sailed these waters and uh, the potential treasure that may still lie in these islands. If any village looks like a movie set, Tiny Stony Creek does. With scenery like this, producers say there was never any doubt this was the perfect place. Came out here, saw the place, and like, okay, you know what? I'll make a movie and then I will move here. Producer Erwin Andrews says the marine and tackle, as in real life, will be the center of action. The rows of historic homes, the fictional town of Widow's Row, where Billy Bogue, a struggling writer, comes to locate the island left to him in a will. Andrews fell in love with the site on one visit, with the script after one page. I was laughing. I literally was rolling. I'm like, my God, this guy could write. Stony Creek has had its brush with fame. Elite like Jane Pauley and Gary Trudeau call it home. But come spring 2002, the village itself and a few reluctant locals will be the stars. I'm having no role whatsoever in the film. Oh, who knows? We can get to I, I, don't, I don't think. Fame rests lightly on my shoulders. <laughs> I can handle it. In Stony Creek, Lori Perez, Fox 61, News at 10. Now, producers say they like to get Greg Kinnear and Gillian Anderson for the leading roles. Good luck. But they say they'll be looking to hire lots of locals to make the film seem as real as possible. 